the yeah, first, Justice League trailer. The first official Justice League trailer hit, and it looks tight. Yeah, it looks really good. The only issue that I had with it, um, watching it, is it is dystopian as shit. Like, there is literally nothing behind these characters whenever you see them on screen. Now, I don't know if this trailer was, you know, put out there unfinished or whatever, but, like, I know that there's a lot of destruction going on, but there's, like, well, mad amounts Snyder, of destruction. Well, it's Zack Snyder, so, yeah, there's going to be a lot well, of destruction. did it, it, either of you catch the throwback to BVS to the Nightmare sequence in the beginning of the trailer? Uh, where they have, yeah, yeah. He yeah, takes the, the goggles off, and then the, he has the bandana. But in yeah. Nightmare, when he still has the, the cowl on, he has the same goggles and the same bandana. Well, here's the thing also, is that you notice if you go frame by frame on that on that preview, or that trailer, or whatever, um, there's a big battle on Themyscira. And they don't know how that's going to play into the movie yet, on whether it's currently going on with Themyscira, or if it's a flashback to their war with Darkseid on Themyscira. Maybe. But if you look at the Nightmare scene also from BVS, you see the big like lava tube coming down it looks like lava is hitting the planet or whatever just like this plume that's going straight into the sky and it's the same thing as going on with the mascara during that big wide like return of the king lord of the rings style what if those are the yeah. version of the boom tubes it could be but i just i don't know i envision boom tubes not being like lava yeah. I don't know. Well, More I like mean, Stargate style. Or maybe it's something like Apocalypse, because Apocalypse has, like, fire shooting out of it. Yeah, Apocalypse, so. yeah. Yeah, it could it, be. Then that's what it looks like, like they're forming Apocalypse. But then you see there's a, a fight scene when Batman swoops in, kicks one... Parademon. And then turn, Parademon, and then turns around and throws a exploding thing out of Parademon. That looks like it might be on Steppenwolf's ship. Yes. Like, while Cyborg, Aquaman, and Wonder Woman are in the ship, he might be fighting to get into them. Yeah. It's kind of the way that I'm looking at that, too. But all i got to say is, uh, just like a bet. I dig it. I dig it. I love it. And then the part where he's on the Batmobile surfing. He's surfing he on goes, the Batmobile. Yeah! And then, he and then launches just... into the sky, gets picked up by Parademons. <sighs> he spears that one with the trident. And There's gets two. the other one. Oh, yeah, yeah. He gets two of them. He's... <laughs> Oh, it looks so good. Arthur I, Curry, the Aquaman. That, that, that he stole it. Arthur Curry's going to steal that movie. Oh, without yeah. question. People are going to be like, man, Aquaman's a badass. And I'm going to be like, Something I've we've been, been saying, saying for years. for fucking years, man. Yeah. He's one of the most powerful DC superheroes. And Mera. Mera yeah. was in it. She was in it. She made a, little, made a little cameo in the, in the, in the trailer. In the trailer itself. Um, and I think that that is going to play into why Arthur decides to start helping. Maybe. You know, whether... Because Mara's more level-headed. Well, but in this, they're not married, they're not together. She's still kind of the... Snobby. Zebel princess or whatever, you know, so she's not... She doesn't have a lot of power, unless... No. You know, just as a voice inside the Council of Atlantis or but, whatever. But uh, he still has a hots for her, probably. Well, most people do, until she accuses you of weird things. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sorry, Johnny Depp. Uh, Topical. Yeah, that's kind of old. A lot of people disagree with you on that. And a lot of people are stupid. <laughs> Anyways. So I have come to a, a realization in my life that uh, most people on the internet are ignorant uh -huh. and stupid. And I've read a lot of things about this preview and this trailer um, where people are just complaining, just a fucking bitch. And I just don't understand why people can't look at it and go, this is going to... I mean, if you don't think it's awesome, cool. Shut the fuck up. You know, stop shitting in my Cheerios. Oh. oh. I don't, I don't want to hear you say that Cyborg CGI looks bad because I'm sorry they couldn't find a real fucking Cyborg to play a Cyborg. <laughs> Asshole. It's not it's something that you can really just go out on the streets and find very easily. But, whatever. I loved like, it. I thought it was... I think it's and, I mean, awesome. if they had used practical effects for Cyborg, they'd still be complaining and say, it looks like shit. Why didn't they use CGI? It looks like a cardboard box because it is a cardboard box because you bitched about practical effects. The other thing that people are complaining about is there's no Superman in the preview. He's not in... He's not in Justice League Part 1. I, I don't think. I would be willing to he's bet on the cast list. money that he will show up at the end. In Probably some, at the end. In some minute. They put... Maybe in a they black... They put Amy Adams movie. in the trailer... Amy Adams is in the trailer, but no Superman. To let you know that the Superman Superman is there. Somehow, some way. Somewhere. Whether it's in memory, in honor, whatever it is, or if he shows up at the end. Or, you know, if, you know, I don't know. 
Tomar Ray wants to come down and you know open up his casket and fly him to the sun so he can get rejuvenated and then bring him Actually, back. Actually, he gets resurrected by Kryptonian technology, so if they can find that somewhere... Well, the ship's still there. Which one? The one that Lex took over. That's right. So... What happened? Oh, they just left it there. There was no follow-up to that ship, other than there's a giant gaping hole in it now, thanks to Doomsday. Yeah, well, that's just be one fine. little part. Didn't stop Lex from summoning the memory of Steppenwolf and the nope, mother boxes it didn't. and all that. It was still working. But we also see um, Cyborg's dad. Silas. Yeah, Silas. Silas Stone. And a parademon in his apartment. Because yeah. of the mother box is in his yep. closet. And the other thing, we see a little bit of Cyborg playing football. So I think we're going to get a little bit of backstory with with Vic. Cy- yeah. We'll probably get some flashbacks of his former life and what he I'm... was before Cyborg. I hope then. so, because... They've almost permanently delayed a solo movie of his, and I think they're going to do a Titans movie instead, because they've announced Nightwing, Cyborg is being established now. I mean, you're three characters away from having a team. You know what I mean? I think Cyborg's origin will probably be explored and explained in Justice League. I think, because they say that he's kind of the heart of the movie itself. You know, because he's directly tied to these parademons. He's going to he's gonna be front and center throughout this fucking movie. Yeah, I mean, because what made him into a cyborg is a mother... Like, he fuses with a mother Yeah, box. which is the New 52 origin, which I'm yeah. perfectly fine with. I mean, at least they picked one origin. That's actually from the comic books. I would rush... Well, Batman's in here, so Superman's in here, so it's Wonder Woman. No, I'm just saying, like, in general, because a lot of, you know, other comic book movies oh, like yeah. to take things and make them their own without actually going... Stupid Power Rangers movies. Jeez. Ah, or making somebody like an actor and not the actual guy. What? Huh? Mandarin. Oh, yeah. But they, they fixed all that with a little short film that came out afterwards. Jeez, man. Totally. We'll never see a it's follow-up. Okay. Yeah, I hope we never see a follow-up to that. I still hold that one of the best origin stories Marvel has done since they took over their movies was Captain America's. Captain, oh, that's that, one of my favorite movies. The first two that Captain was, Americas are hands like down one of, the best. one of the best origin stories. I love it, man. I love the Captain America movies until Civil War. Yeah, and I just am not a fan. Movie. It's it's not. It's an adventures movie. We've been. I mean, I don't know how many times I've said it, but it's it's not. So what else? Uh, the Spider-Man Homecoming. Uh, uh, I think they're. I think they're releasing a new trailer tomorrow. Either it came out today or it's coming out tomorrow. Yeah, I think so. But there is a, another trailer for, my, for Spider-Man Homecoming, which is coming out July 7th. July 7th. So if you're excited for Spider-Man, seven, seven, you'll have seven. another little little oh, nugget seven, of seven, seven, goodness seven. for you to watch until the movie comes out. I would also like to point out that uh, Warner Brothers released the Justice League trailer on the one-year anniversary of something. Of BVS? The release the one, date for BVS. The one year anniversary. One for year BVS. anniversary, man. 325. So, yeah, I mean, solicitations, a little bit of news and notes. Anything else we've got news wise? Um, it's not really news, but it's something I'm super jazzed about because after all this time, I finally discovered the amazingness that is Brian Lee O'Malley. Explain. Okay, well, first, okay, so I we've all seen the movie, and we're actually going to do an episode on. Scott Pilgrim versus the world a couple yes. weeks from now. And that's all I really kind of got of that. But then the other day I was in Slackers and I saw the first trade of Snot Girl, mm-hmm. which is hilarious. It's like really poking fun at those Instagram sluts. It's like, it's really cheeky on the nose. <coughs> oh, uh, it's a whole, it's a satire. And so it's, it's a, it's a so lot of well Scott done. Pilgrim was then. It's basically. Yeah. It, this guy, this, this, he, as a writer, he's he's incredible. So I read Snot Girl. Yeah. And now I've just bought the first two volumes of Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. And I just blew through those things. They're oh, yeah, they so don't take much long. fun. But they're fun, that's the thing. So say. fun. And I actually, like, I know you don't, you're not a huge fan of the art, but I feel like... <laughs> I, don't, I wouldn't read it for the art. <laughs> but I well, like I the art. I like, I like that. Place. I like Milk that egg, cartoonist bitch. thing. Yeah, he's like, next page. Or it was like, Scott and, Scott and Ramona are a thing. Now turn the page. Like, it breaks the fourth wall in such a fun way. Like, people ask him a question. He's like, I don't know. Maybe you should read the book. Like, referring to the book that you are reading. That's awesome. And then uh, he asked Ramona about, like, a previous thing in her past. She's like, I don't know. I think we'll cover it in volume three. 
<laughs> so it's, just... it's, it's a lot like the movie. Oh, absolutely. Actually, I was really, because I went back and I watched the movie a couple times after I started reading it, and how they translate from book to movie is very, very well done. Edgar Wright. Mm. He's, he did a really good job of making it, of taking the essence there's of what is Scott Pilgrim versus the world not, and bringing it onto There's the not been a movie he's done that I've hated, to be completely honest. Even movies he got pulled off of for... Like Ant-Man. House of Mouse reasons. Yeah. Like Ant-Man. Which he wanted to make completely independent from the Avengers because he has an artistic mind and Disney doesn't want artists directing their movies. No. Even though John Favreau apparently has sold his soul because Made and Swingers are two of my most favorite movies ever. <laughs> oh John yeah, he did Favreau. because he did Iron Man one and he did Iron, Iron Man two, two and uh, Jungle Book. So he Disney did. owns him; they're keeping him. Oh, well, yeah, he did Chef though. That was really good. He's on the top bunk, top bunk, top bunk with Scotty Young on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, Chef is fucking incredible. Oh yeah, that's a great movie. Um, Which shows you he can still, you know, actually do really good things. Not the Jungle Book he's... was bad though. Jungle Book was actually really good. But no, he can do things. And he's talking about doing Disney. Lion King, a remake of Lion King. Yes. I think. So yeah, Disney owns his ass. James so. Earl Jones is still Mufasa. Thank God. <laughs> So, but yeah, that, that brings us to an end. So, just to let you guys know, on Thursday, Kalen made me watch possibly the most confusing and Oh, it's, it's up there on those for me. Things I've ever had to see just in my entire life. Just because it's confusing doesn't mean it's terrible. Well, so we watched Ghost in the Shell, the animated movie. The, in anticipation for tomorrow, well, it will be Friday. So The release when, of the actual live-action one with Scarlett Johansson, I thought, hey... Let's do an episode on the original one the day before it comes out. It and that's perfectly. what we're doing. So we just got done watching that, so now I have to process and regurgitate crap. Yay! So join us on Thursday. You're Thurs- just like your dog. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Socks. Oh, my God. <laughs> my backyard looks like the, all the where all your lost socks went to go die. <laughs> <laughs> it's disgusting. So we have to go out there weekly and pick up dead socks. So if you're missing socks, I can I can hold on to them, but they have literally been shit out. Um, <laughs> oh my god! But anyway, what? so <laughs> special thanks to um, you know what? I'm gonna refrain from thanking th- uh, Rock Bottom Comics for this episode because James needs to eat some fucking crow. Why? As soon as he puts on his sheet mask, I'll start thanking him again. Oh my god! You're so such special a thanks dick. to Mayher. Uh, for everything that he's done for us, um, come and find us on YouTube, Spreaker, iTunes, uh, Podcast Republic, uh, Google search the Comic Boot Podcast, um, look us up on Facebook, join our group. Um, that's it. I'm James. I'm Kalen. And I'm Cody. And we will see you guys on Thursday. <laughs>